So hello guys, welcome back. This is Viren Kumar. So in the series of the Azure DevOps, I am going to show that how we can run in the deployed BDD Cucumber test in the Azure DevOps pipelines. If you are working with the BDD Cucumber automation framework and if you want to explore the Azure DevOps pipelines with the BDD Cucumber uh, framework, then you will get the idea from this video series. So you can watch this video completely and then you will get the idea how you can set up the BDD Cucumber code on the Azure DevOps. Before going to start this one, I have the request please like and subscribe this channel. Suppose you have the BDD Cucumber framework in your automation bucket and you have pushed the code in the GitHub. So GitHub is the source code repository you can refer another source code repository like I am using the GitHub. I push my code to the GitHub, the BDD Cucumber code. Then I will connect this BDD Cucumber code through the GitHub to the Azure DevOps. And Azure DevOps, I will create the build pipeline and the deploy pipelines. And both the pipelines I am going to use to run and the build the BDD Cucumber framework. So let's get started and I am going to show to the practical examination of this video. This is my Eclipse and this is my BDD Cucumber framework. And under this BDD Cucumber framework, I have the one test runner file. And this is my feature file. This is for the demo purpose. And now this is the form.xml file which we are using for the Maven project. And this is my step definition file. So if you know BDD Cucumber framework, then you can understand easily these step definition, form.xml, test runner, and the feature file easily. So if you don't know, then I am going to prepare the series. You can get the idea how we can work with the BDD Cucumber framework. So this feature, what it will do? It will just uh, launch the Chrome browser. It will access the www.google.com. Then it will close the browser. Okay. So let me execute and then uh, we will go to the Azure DevOps. Okay. So to run this one, you can right click run a JUnit test. Now the test runner.java file will execute these features. So very simple scenario I am going to test here to show the demo. First it will launch the browser, then it will maximize the browser. And after that, it will access the google.com and then it will close the browser. You can see in the print google.java step definition file, launching the browser, maximizing driver.get, searching in the Chrome, it will execute this step and then it will close the browser. Now, in same way, you have the multiple feature files and the multiple step definitions, the test suit executions, and there is one test runner file that you want to execute through the DevOps, which we call the CI-CD pipelines. Here we are using the Azure DevOps. So after designing this VTD Cucumber code, I just push this code to the GitHub. Okay. So this is my github.com account and there I have pushed this VTD Cucumber code under BDD Cucumber framework. So I can go to my username and there I have a separate repository for the BDD Cucumber framework. And this is the BDD Cucumber framework okay, which I pushed for my local system to the GitHub. You can see the same folder and the project I have on github.com and this is my Azure account. So dev.azure.com, this is my Azure DevOps account. Still, you have the account. If you don't have the Azure account on how to create and install and set up, you can watch this playlist and you will get the clear idea about it. This is my organization. Okay, I, I will go to this organization. And under this organization, I have one test project. So this is my test project. I will go to this test project.
on the left side of this project you can see the pipeline okay i will click on these pipeline sections and there you see the environment okay environments release and the pipeline so under this pipelines we have the one pipeline sections in the pipeline sections we designed a build pipeline that is called a continuous integration part of this lcd so we will go to the pipelines and there you can see the new pipelines you just click on the new pipelines if you are the beginner and you want to create a pipeline from the scratch you can follow these steps so new pipelines from there are these options if you know the yml language then you can choose one of these options otherwise you can go to the classic editor that is the ui form of this yml language so as of now i will select the use the classic editor after that you have the source code repository from where you want to fetch the your btd cucumber code to the azure devops so i have the azure repos git hub git of enterprise servers subgroupen spn big bucket and other so as of now we have the git hub so i will select the git hub now the repository okay so you can see that i am not able to see the repository here because the authorization connection is the different so what i will do i will change the authorization connection which is my git hub connection now if i again go to this one then you can see i can see the bdd cucumber repository so i will select this one now the default branch is the master branch so you can see the same in bdd cucumber repository i select here okay the same username slash bdd cucumber and this is my username slash bdd cucumber and this is my master branch so same master branch i can get now click on continue continue sections after that you will get the template section after the continue you will get the selected template so under there you select the empty job now the task section under the task section you have the pipelines so pipelines you can provide the ci pipelines for the bdd demo okay you can choose the customized name of the pipeline or the agent pool so we have the two type of the agent hosted and the local agent so this is azure pipelines by default this is the hosted agent so i will select the hosted agent and under this hosted agent which is provided by the microsoft i have these agents there are different type of the machines on which we can execute or build the bdd cucumber automation framework so as of now i am going to select the windows 2022 okay then i will select this configuration okay now the gate source or the gate source pass is already done you have the bdd cucumber repository master branch clean to source is and keep all these things report as it is agent job so the agent job if you want to check the status so i will say change the agent job name bdd demo in eric from the pipelines execution parallelism run everything you can keep Okay, like this, and then you can save the setting. Okay, now I want to execute. So what you can do, you can click on the key, and then it will ask you the few details again for the confirmations. I just put Azure pipelines, Windows machine, master branch. I want to. now this is my job which is running so i will click on and i will show you how it is running so this part will execution and there you can see the load so you can wait how it is running step by step and then we can see 
the status of this job. So now you can see the initializing the job. In this step, it is check out the identity cucumber from the master branch to the Azure source code repository. Okay. And this Azure source code repository will check out to the Windows machine 2022, which we select as the agent pool. On this machine, it will check out the code from this git repository and then it will first for the execution it will execute this one and then it's finalizing the job so it will do the finalization now i will go and check the status of this job so you can see the success so my build of this bdd cucumber code is the done so this is my build pipeline which is build my code uh, on the windows 2022 machine now I want to deploy on the some agent. This is my BTD uh, Cucumber framework. So this called the continuous deployment of the CI/CD pipelines. So for that you can go to the release section. Under this release you can click on the create a new release step three. And this is the BTD Cucumber defect. And if you want to select the new one source code create a release but so now we will do so to create the deployment pipelines you can see this is a new section so first you need to create the deployment pipeline so I will create a new Release pipeline. So release pipeline basically refer to the deployment pipeline. So I will click on this one. Then we need to select the template. So again you can click on the empty job. Stage just say BDD. You can close this one. You can see the stage BDD is there. Now we need to select the artifact. Which which build or which code you want to deploy on the machine on which environment so my environment name is stage BDD and which code so need to select the artifact so if you have the build so earlier we have the build ok so what was the build name project name this one test azure project name is my project name and then what was my build pipeline name so slave BDD demo just now we executed this build pipeline default version is the latest this is my source name and you can add so what is this this is my artifact ok if you want to deploy the direct code instead of the build then you can select the build section or the project after that you have the one job so you can click on this job now the agent job is there. So BD stage, BDD name, after job, agent job is there. Hosted on this machine, I want to select the Azure pipeline and then I want to deploy on the Windows 2019. So both are the different agents I build on the 2022, but I want to deploy on the another machine. That changes you can do here. Okay, you can check these information. Okay. After that, you can save all the changes. You can click on the save. Now, from here you can create the release. Okay. So you want to create. The release under this pipeline, so we have the stage one job is there under this stage environment. This is the stage environment, and under there is one job for the deployment of this code. I will create one release stage BDD. Okay, state to change trigger from automation to manual the pipeline name BDD version number 17, and you can create release one is created under this pipeline. I will go to the release one. So now it is deployed in the queue. 